Hi, I'm Margaret and today I'm making these lovely little savoury muffins. They're beautifully caramelised and crunchy on the outside and lovely and soft and cheesy in the middle. They've even got a bit of soft cheese right in the centre of each one. So let's give them a go. I was given these little muffin cases in a gift box at Christmas and I've been looking for just the right occasion for using them. These little muffins will be just the thing. Now the hardest thing about making muffins is getting everything together in the first place. Once you've done that, it's plain sailing. Dry ingredients together, wet ingredients together and then mix them up. It's as simple as that. You would be forgiven for thinking that two chilies is a lot to put into this. But I haven't included the seeds and they are medium chilies. So they give the finished muffin a warm chilli flavour and it isn't too spicy at all. Now for the wet ingredients. Using oil makes these lovely and moist and the butter and buttermilk add a lovely flavour. If you can't find any buttermilk, you can always add whole milk and a little bit of lemon juice together. Just a teaspoon of lemon should do. Give it a stir and leave it just for a couple of minutes and you'll notice the difference. Try not to mix this too much, we don't want to overwork the flour. I'm going to start by putting half the amount in each of the muffin cases. Squash them down a little bit to make them flat and pop a little piece of goat's cheese into each one. You could use your favourite soft cheese. Something like camembert or brie would work beautifully and it would be really soft in the centre when you took them out of the oven. Then we need to fill them up to cover that little bit of cheese. Now, as you probably know already, I love to add toppings onto muffins. I love that crunch you get as you bite into them. Today I'm using walnuts, rolled oats and a mixture of seeds. You can use anything you like for this really. I've popped a list down below in the recipe suggesting different toppings. One topping that could be really nice on this is crushed up little bits of cheesy biscuits. Mm. 
when all the toppings are on, you can push them down just gently to make sure that they stick to the top of each muffin. And there we go, lovely and golden from the oven. They're going to come out of the tray now, then they can cool a little bit better. There, they'll be ready to eat in no time. Now for the best bit, trying the muffins. These muffins need a good long bake to make sure you get that lovely crispy outside. And they're best served hot from the oven. And don't forget the butter. I'm going to be busy munching for the next few minutes, so I'll say goodbye. Have a great week and I'll catch you again very soon.